There was a time when baseball was the unquestioned national pastime. It's, it's part of our America. cultural fabric. They're not a part of the communities. They are the beating heart of yeah. these communities. But what about the players who haven't made it to the major leagues yet? The minor leaguers. How much do they make? Major League Baseball has been exploiting the labor of minor leaguers for decades. Thousands of minor leaguers arriving to spring training, hoping to make their club's opening day roster, are forced to survive on the last paycheck that they received at the end of the season over six months ago. In the 2019 season, MLB generated a record $1.2 billion in profit and $10.7 billion in total revenue. Almost all of the 30 major league owners are billionaires and have a combined net worth of over $75 billion. When you talk about uh, what you can do as an owner to help the club win, doing everything you can to generate extra revenues. In order to save a couple million dollars, these billionaire owners are paying their minor leaguers poverty wages. Many minor leaguers are making less than $5 an hour, and even at the minor league's highest level, the level just before the major leagues, they're making only $14,700 a year. You'd be amazed at how many people I ran into during my career that thought we'd make a lot of money. <laughs> Meanwhile, you make more than me doing whatever you do. It doesn't matter. With no minor league union, MLB owners are free to use their uncontested power to set the terms and pay the contracts of minor leaguers however they see fit. Major League Baseball players do have a union. The players have successfully bargained their way to guaranteed minimum salaries of $564,000. But minor leaguers remain unrepresented and at the mercy of Major League Baseball and its lobbying power. Major League Baseball has been exempt from antitrust laws that govern nearly every other industry in America since 1922. Some in Congress are threatening to strip MLB of its antitrust exemption. There is a reason why baseball is considered the national pastime. It's just not another business operation where the bottom line has got to prevail. You've used the word exploitation. That's strong. But that's what's occurring. On one hand, you have this group of owners that is all powerful. Then on the other hand, you have a group of workers that are fairly fungible commodity in the minds of these owners. And they don't have a union at all. And they're desperate to get into this industry. So you have this perfect recipe for exploitation. I've been leading a class action lawsuit against Major League Baseball, trying to help rectify this injustice. MLB has been fighting the case for years, even trying to appeal the case to the US Supreme Court. But last year, the Supreme Court denied that request. The case continues on with a simple demand that MLB comply with the same minimum wage and hour laws that every company must comply with. Last fall, Major League Baseball announced plans to cut ties with 40 minor league teams at the end of the coming season. For decades, many small cities across America have embraced an identity of being a minor league town, a place where families have had an affordable option to enjoy America's pastime, to see future major leaguers up close and personal. But all of that is being stripped away in the name of greed. I grew up with them. Ding, 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 oh, ding. Yeah. The Columbia yeah. Mets, right. then the Capital City Bombers. That's right. Hudson Valley Renegades. It's part of it's our America. cultural fabric. Yeah. Sure is. No yeah. And playing with those minor leaguers, I would never change that for nothing in the world because I think, you know, that reinstilled some of the desires that I had when I was a kid. Major League Baseball's economic prosperity has been built on the backs of minor leaguers and the minor league communities all across America. It's time to respect the labor of those who make baseball great.